Let's make a project tracker in Excel in two minutes. Like this so you can reference it later or find it in my bio in the workbook. Let's go to the developer tab, insert a checkbox, and we're going to click in there and we're going to press delete a bunch of times to get rid of all the text that is in there. Then we need to move this in place. And if you already have a bunch of checkboxes, you can hold control and click on each one and then just copy and paste. It makes it a little bit easier. And then let's move these three into place. Next, we're gonna do some formatting. So we wanna make this background match the rest of what we already have. I already did a lot of this so you can see the example, but what we wanna do is change that to a light to medium gray. And then let's move this one a little bit better in place. And then we're going to finish this background change here to black. And then we're going to insert our border. So the rest of this is a white border. So let's click on the border icon and then the interior outside border. And then we're gonna make that white and hit okay. Notice now when we check a box though, it's not going to do anything. We need to right click and format on every one of these to link it to the cell that it's in. So these check boxes are on top of cells and you want to right click, format, click the little arrow and then click the cell to link it just like that and then repeat again this fourth time. Click the little arrow, click the cell and it's linked. Now when you do some sort of calculation, it's going to actually respond. So we're using the repeat function for our formula. So type it in exactly as shown and then the count if formula comma true because we want to return anything that is true or marked as checked times 20. I chose 20 because I liked that length of a bar when it's at 100%, but feel free to adjust that number. And then you need to highlight all of those cells because after we linked it, it added that text of true and we want to turn that gray, the font color gray so that you don't see it. And then let's change this to playbill font so that your bar looks correct. Now, when you go through and check the boxes, you've got your progress bars. You can adjust the column width to fit exactly to 100% by just clicking between the G and the H and dragging it. You can change the font color to turn it a little bit brighter, like a yellow color or something like that. You can go up and insert or remove grid lines. And here's your progress tracker, looking great.